we admitted that the key was this initial family and then the family started inviting more family members and friends and uh, then a, a senior adult lady said, you know, I've been picking up some, but I think we need to start run, running the bus. And so just basically overnight, we, we had a bus sitting in our bus garage. And my first two years here, it basically was in the bus garage. And so we started going to places where these uh, children uh, live and we would pick them up and we'd take them home. I think for the most part, we've been welcoming, but it has been a disruption of our normal life. And as people get older, they get very set in their ways. Uh, they're not really responsive to a lot of change. And therefore, it's been a little complicated. On a, any given Wednesday night, we have a large number of kids come in and, and they're, they're loud and rowdy and obnoxious, but uh, it takes some getting used to and it, it, it takes that, that pill of grace. You have to remember, my goodness, I, I can't imagine how Jesus feels about me every time I come into his house. Uh, when, when these kids come in and they're rowdy, you just have to remember grace, grace. We're here to love them, that's it. I think God gave us the opportunity to do something we've never done before. And I feel like we're only barely started. It's been well over a year, but I think we're only barely started. So I don't consider that we're a failure yet, but we could have done better. And I think we still have the opportunity to do a lot more with these children who come without parents and without parental support in their church going. They come from uh, backgrounds that are simply different than where most of our members come from. Uh, our people have been, uh, I think, not only generous in accepting them, but they've also had to go back to the drawing board like all of us and say, okay, we have these children here, how can we minister? But the main thing is that, that God through the power of the Spirit is still working through people and who knows what wonderful things are gonna happen as a result of that. While these kids may not be members of this church for a year from now, while their parents may never darken the, the doorstep of this church, uh, while they may never contribute to the finances of the church, uh, the important thing is that we're planting those seeds, the seeds of the gospel in those lives. And uh, 30 years from now, 10 years from now, those seeds may grow.